Hey everyone, welcome back to Windows Fixer. Today we are solving a common problem a lot of you have been facing. IDM not downloading or working properly. Don't worry, I have got two methods to help you fix it up real quick. Whether it's a corrupted file or just IDM acting up, these tips will get you back to download in no time. Stick around because you don't want to miss these easy steps. This video is for educational purposes only. Please ensure you are using licensed software and be careful when using third-party applications. Always download from trusted sources to avoid any unwanted issues. Alright guys, now there's two main software you can use. Those are trusted. The number one is iobit uninstaller. And when you search it on Google, it will pop up like this. And the second one is super super data is both softwares are free you can download it in my case i'm using this one the data super Erase. and once you download this go into the uninstaller and then find the idm just choose it and click on uninstall click on uninstall and then click on ok click on the full version and then click on next next now don't restart your PC yet just click on cancel and then click on deep clean once it is done now click on finish and restart your PC after restarting the PC simply you need to install the IDM once again just search internet download manager now open the official website I will provide the link in the description it will be always be easy for you now scroll down on the bottom you will see a option called new version now you can also read here internet download manager v6.14 added windows 11 compatibility which improved the grabber link click on it and then click on the download after downloading simply you can install it next choose agreement and terms and then click on next the installation is simple after the installation just restart your pc once and also enable the extension in your browser just open the browser in chrome mostly it's pop up automatically okay now the second method is you need to clear cache just press windows plus r key together and open the run dialog box and then type prefetch and then hit enter now select all and shift delete now once again windows plus r key and this time temp click on continue and then control a and then shift delete once again you need to type windows plus r and this time percentage temp percentage now control a shift delete now if something is not deleting then just click on the skip and then close it now you can try to download something it will work 100 percent the last thing is you can also make sure that you have free enough space in your c drive and if you don't have you can apply these methods the number one is disk cleanup choose the c drive click on ok and make sure click on the system files now select all and then click on ok delete files Another option is you can open the storage setting and then you need to enable the storage sense. It will automatically maintain the free space in your C drive. You can also delete all the download files and if there is anything important you can just move it into another folder or drive. Now you can also create some extra free space and for that you can uninstall the applications or just click on the show more categories and then you will find here the system. Now once you are here system and reserve you will see here the system restore point. If you have more system restore point you can also delete them and there is also a option called hibernation files. You need to delete this. I will provide CMD in the description. Just copy and paste in the CMD. It will help you to free up your free space. Now currently it's 6.37 GB. Let's see here. The C drive is in my case is currently 110. 
uh, let's free up space using command prompt just open the command prompt make sure run as administrator and then paste the command and press enter now close it now refresh the file explorer to see the exact space and see it's now 116 GB now maybe hibernation file will be removed once you refresh this storage sense or restart your PC now just close it now the last method if uh, this method did not work for you you can open the IDM then go into the download options and then and then save to now you can also change here the destination the temporary files destination and the download destination you can choose here the separate drive where you have enough space in my case i'm just uh, giving you a demo guys actually i have enough space with this method guys you can easily fix the downloading problems all right guys that's it hopefully one of these methods help you fix idm and get it working again remember you can use trusted third-party apps like iobit installer or super erase your data to cleanly remove idm from your pc i will see you in the next video till then just take yourself allah face bye bye